questions in a little bag. All right. Everybody take a seat. Everybody take a seat. Now, go ahead. The bill activity is on the board. So go ahead. Answer the bill activity to the best of your ability. Yes, ma'am. Can I take Well, I'm actually having you all put them back on that back table. I'm sorry. <laughs> but go ahead and take credit bill like to answer to the best of your ability. And as always, after you answer it, we go back over to make sure you have it correct. Does everybody understand that? Yes, so go ahead and take care of it. Make sure you sit down. Make sure you sit down. Uh. Yes, ma'am. Also, do not forget that your article, the article book is due today. Do not forget that. Can I have a Everybody got that? Yes. Everybody got it? Yes. All right, so go ahead and take care of the bill activity as well. 
So they have the same function, but a different structure. The example we gave when you all did your group work was, was something like birds, bats, oh butterflies. That would be your mouth versus the, the finch's beak. You eat with your mouth, a finch eat with his beak. But they're a different structure. That would be analogous. Oh. You got the confused look. What's well, the confused look? Say what the confused look is. <laughs> so it's the same, it's same thing, different structure? Same function, different structure. For an example, a bird flies, right? Yes. Okay, a bat flies, right? Does a bumblebee fly? Yes. Does a butterfly fly? Yes. So they all have wings, right? But are their wings the same? No. Oh, no. So what analog is says is this. So it does the same thing. It, 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 it do the same thing, but it's different structure. Exactly. Okay. Same function, different structure. Yes, sir. I have a question, but I don't, it's size technically, but I'm not sure if they have anything. Yeah. Does all birds, they think they fly, like, do they soar through the sky? Like, no. No, some actually have to flutter. They have to flap their wings in order to get your wing, get air up under their wings in order for them to lift. Oh. Like so basically, it's like pushing down. Like and, butterflies. Yeah, it's pushing down. Why so we can't do that? <laughs> because we don't have the structure to do it. Our arms doesn't have enough. Which it, our arms can't catch enough air to pull us up like that. <laughs> but mainly because birds' wings are hollow, and our and our birds' bones are uh -huh. hollow. And human bones are not hollow. We have bone marrow. Oh, so what's the definition of hollow? The birds? Yes. That's why I have brittle bones. That's why I have brittle bones. Yeah. The bones are brittle. Yeah. 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 So the same function, but different. All right. Does anybody have that? Everybody understand that? Do we all have that? Do we all understand that? The exact definition is this. Uh, there you go. Analogous structures are features of two different species that are similar in how they function. But the structure of the two features are different. An example are wings. Bird wings versus the bat wing. Bat wings versus a butterfly wing. Butterfly wing versus a fly wing. Everybody see that? I got a question. And I may have an answer. Okay. <coughs> okay, bird. And out of that one, you know that one. Mm -hmm. How come you got. Wait, never mind. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I might kind of slow. I want to hear it, though. Well, you're not going to sound slow. It's a flying snake, but it don't have wings. What's a flying snake? I don't know the name of it. It's in the forest or something. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about the lizard that glides. No, no it's, it's a snake. It's a snake. It's it's a snake. Oh, um, it's gliding. It, what it does is it, it flails out. It, it basically, it can like flare out. Yeah, it can flare out. And it's not flying, it's gliding down. It's using air to lift this up. Basically, that's why you see it come off a tree. It has to come off a tree. It can't just come from the ground. It has to come off a tree because a snake can move pretty fast. It has to come off a tree. And because it's coming off a tree, the air is up under it because it has puffed out. So the air is up under it so it can glide across the air. But have to go from trees, have to go from height, some from high height to low height. They can't go from down and up. They have to go that up and to down. If the wind is blowing a certain way, it can catch that wind and keep on going. That's cool. But it doesn't want to do that too much. Because otherwise they'll be in the sight of a predator. Yeah. Everybody know that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So huh? Uh-huh. Falcon. I mean, the eagle, something with talons that can crush it. I think like a book here. I'm sure that. I can't remember the name of it. All right, does anybody have that? Oh, I got another example. Oh, you waiting? Um, what she just said in the squirrel. Yes. That was, that was, yeah, that was, that was joke. Cause a squirrel can lie. Yes, All right, so we have this there, right? Yes. Can you go ahead and move on from this? Yes. All right, so now, over the last couple of weeks, 
We've talked about evolution. We went over an overview of evolution. We talked about what it was. We talked about the theories that went along with evolution. And then recently, we got into some integral.